Finally warmed up a little bit outside. Managed to get the tires on the bike swapped over. Yeah, not too bad. Even though these are the bottom of the Schwabby line, they'll work for what we're doing. I was going to put my computer on today and run the wires down, but I kept having weird issues with that thing, not picking up something to do with the sensor or something. So I might just buy another one. So I'll deal with that later. Also got the tires changed on the wife's bike. Odd colored contraption. And you probably can't see, but... Nah, yeah, not really, but yeah. There's a lot more clearance than it had with the other ones. So, that'll work. I am going to have to take the uh, rear axle apart on that one, because it does have a weird bearing noise. I don't think they put enough grease in there at the factory, so... I'll do that when it's a whole lot warmer out here. Anyway, still get in there. Little at a time. I have to find something else to do. So I picked up the dog trailer. Sort of an unimpressive thing, but it's super cheap off eBay, so get what you pay for. This thing, the way it's designed, yeah, it's about 0% waterproof. Wheels, both sides, a little bit of play. By the time you add the two sides together, it's a lot of play, but thought maybe I could shim these out, but it's actually the uh, diameter of the axles that's wrong. So, yeah. That's going to be a little sloppy. Anyway, so we can get over here. I did manage to get the hitch on hers. Pretty easy, one bolt. And I'm hoping that it has the same hitch on the cargo trailer that just hasn't shown up yet. I'll show you which one I picked once that shows up. Anyway, that way we can swap trailers back and forth if one ends up being lighter and she gets tired of pulling the weight. Then I'll take this tubby dog. Yeah, this thing's kind of kind of cheesy, but hey, it's cheap. Anyway, I should probably find something else to do. I've got to get her accessory bar put on her bars and things like that and figure out where we're going to mount our MP3 players and all this kind of fun stuff. Yeah, got to be entertained on the road. Back to work. All right, the next trailer showed up. I'm going to have to uh, take this thing out of the box and... Uh, See how it looks. Spokes are pretty hefty. Wow. Well, you can't feel that, but... Uh, wow. Hopefully this company doesn't make rim brake bicycles. Well, I'll uh, pop it out of here and somewhat couple it together and give it a quick once-over. It's like two degrees above freezing out here. And it's cold. Well, I got it somewhat put together. Yeah, well... For some reason, this should be a uh, quick release, just like uh, what's up here. I don't know why they put a bolt on there. That was uh, really kind of cheesy. Oh, another thing, there should be a metal D-ring that goes here. Seems that somebody forgot it, so now if I wrap this around the frame, there's nothing over here to hook it to. <laughs> this little safety strap is kind of useless. I'll have to do something about that. I can tell already this thing's going to be a rattle trap. Even though I don't have it tightened down yet, but it's still not going to pinch to keep that from rattling. I'll do something anyway, because this thing is 30 inches long, my tent is 40, so it's got one of these back there, as you can see. I might just flip this one upside down so the tent will start from here and just kind of hang out the back a little bit, and I can just bungee it in. Then I've got another 20 liter bag I can put on the other side. I was kind of hoping to leave this level, because it's got the metal bottom here. Which means at camp, if you have to, you can flip this trailer upside down, it'll set up on top of these. And you can use it as a cooking table, so... Yeah. More things to come up with. I know this thing was built horribly. Other than just the rims being really bad. This thing had welding splatters all over it. All these welds are poorly done. A few of them even missed. There's a few spot welds on here that aren't even holding, but... Hopefully it doesn't rattle. Otherwise, I'll just do a quick spot weld on them. If I do too much welding on it, I'll have to repaint it. Nice to avoid that, but, you know. Well, it's about a couple degrees above freezing out here still, so... I might have to go in there and mess with this tomorrow. Anyway, back at it later.